So let us see these four phases of embryonic development to have an overview of these four phases through a very beautiful animation. Let's begin with that. As you know that the site for fertilization is the fallopian tubes in, in human females. This is an egg. Now this egg is going to fuse with sperms. You know that there are millions of sperms. Only one sperm is able to reach, to penetrate and then the nucleus which has genes they are going to they are going to uh, come together from male as well as from female and after this this first cell zygote is formed after the fusion of these gametes so now for that done now we see that these cells are going to divide and this is known as cleavage after this cleavage there is a cell stage multicellular cell stage that we call as blastomeres now this is a gestation period after this we have a gestation period but remember that when this blastomeres are formed inside that blastomere we have some specialized cells that, that are going to form the whole body of the embryo and in the in inside this we have inner cell mass which we call as icm also which are going to form the entire mass of the body okay so this now blastomere this this multicellular cell stage is going to implant itself to the uterus the uterine wall of the human female after its implantation this gestation period which we call as 280 days it is just going to start and these inner cell mass you can see this is going to form a structure special structure in which now there is special cell movement this cell movement is taking place for the formation of this this gastrulation that is formation of these three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm okay so now this is going to lead to the formation of three germ layers ectoderm outer one mesoderm middle one and endoderm inner one so these three germ layers are formed and after the formation of these three germ layers you will see that there will be what the next stage that is organogenesis so organs are going to be formed now this this is known as fetus okay so organ development and complete structure eyes hands ears and all now this forms the complete embryo so after this a complete organism is formed so this is how important is to study these phases of embryonic development gametogenesis fertilization gestation and parturition okay so remember that during gametogenesis we talked about gametes sperms and eggs and then fertilization is a fusion for the formation of one single cell that is I got and then gestation which is for 280 days the development of an embryo complete embryo in which you have uh, the sub phase that is cleavage blastomeres and gastrulation organogenesis and then we have parturition means when the organism is fully developed that embryo is fully developed this is to, this is going to come out of and leave the mother's womb so that is this parturition period okay so these 280 days are the days in which this development is going to take place from this single cell zygote to a complete organism as you have seen in the animation so i hope now these four phases are very clear to you sperms and ova are going to fuse to form zygote this zygote is going to show cell divisions then formation of complete organism by the formation of these organs and then when this that this is going to be complete this is going to come out and this blastomere stage that multi-cell stage has those all cells which are going to form the complete organism because at this stage this blastomere stage this cell differentiation is going to begin okay we will be forming three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm when these three germ layers are going to form after this organs are going to form okay the uh, this blastomere says outer cells of the blastomere they're going to develop tissues like placenta okay placenta is a tissue which is a link between mother and the growing baby so the outer cells of blastomere are going to what they're going to serve for the formation of placenta and the inner cell mass which we have shown in the animation the, 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 that those blue cells they're going to form the whole cell mass of the body remember so this is how we're going to talk about the phases of embryonic development and we'll study these in detail now